In this video, I'm going to show you how to display multiple WooCommerce products on one page. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So first, let's have a look at a few examples which I created earlier. So here you can see I've created a new page called D3. And here I'm just adding multiple um, WooCommerce products on this one page. So let's have a look at a few others I created. So as you can see again, I'm showing a display multiple products and we can display the products in any particular order as well. So here I'm showing quite a bit. And again, let's have a look at two final um, designs in which I've just added. So again, this is a standard WordPress page and I've just added multiple WooCommerce products here. And then finally, let's have a look at this one. Throughout this video, I'm gonna be editing this particular page here. So if you wanna create something similar on your WooCommerce website, I'm gonna show you how to do this a step by step. So the first thing you wanna do is head over to WooSuite.com and download the WooCommerce product table. Once you've done so, head back to your WordPress dashboard, go ahead and install the plugin. So just plugins, add new, click install, for go through the steps. If you're not sure how to um, install a WordPress plugin, I'll leave a few links in the resources below. So assuming you've installed and activated a WooSuite product table, let's get straight into this tutorial. By default, you should have one default um, product table. You can go ahead and edit it or just create a new one by just clicking this add new table button here. So since I've already created one here, which I've named multiple products, I'm just gonna click on edit, but in your case, you might wanna click add new table. Then here we just give it a name and in here as well. So we've got the option to automatically insert this product table that we'll be creating into a particular page. We'll just leave this as blank as it is. And then here's the real meat of it. So we go to order form information. And in here is where we've got our various information on this particular table. So here, as you can see, we've got the product image, we've got the product name, the price, and then we've also got our add to cart button. So this is what we're creating here. So we're creating the different columns for our table. So here I've added image, as I said, name, price, and add to cart. If you want, you can use inner column. And then here we can, with the inner column, we can add um, a nested heading like this. So here you can see we've got the product name, we've got the SKU code, and we've also got the description, short description, and a price. So to do that, you would use, let's head back here. You'd use this inner column here. And in here, we've got a few options in which you can choose from. You just basically add it here. So for example, if we wanted to add a product name, we'd go name, comma, and SKU code and comma, and then you just keep adding all the different um, things you wanna add in that particular column. For now, I'm gonna delete this. So let's just hit delete. I wanna keep this video as short as possible. So again, these are all the available fields. You just drag it, drag and drop it into this section here. Rearrange it as well, how you like. And I'm gonna leave this as it is for now. Um, also, when you click on a item here. So here we can name the heading of a particular column. We can control the width and give it a particular class as well. If you've got um, custom information in which you want to show, you can do that by dragging this custom data here. And when we click this edit icon, here we can choose the data source. So we can get it from the Pulse Meta or if you've got any custom taxonomies on your site, you can select it from here, product color and then just hit update again. I'm gonna keep it really simple. And then image size, so we've got the width and the height. Go ahead and specify that there. Um, description length, we can go ahead and add that there as well. And um, product links. So basically if you want to link the product name to the product page, product image to the product page, etc., etc., you'll add it here. Currently I've set this to none, um, but in your case, you might wanna link specific items to the product page. So again, custom add to cart icon. I'm gonna skip over this for now. Bulk add to cart settings here. So currently our display is set to buttons only. We can set it to buttons and checkbox as well. So the product quantities, we can enable it as well if we want. Variation settings. So here we're just linking it to the product page. If there's a variable product form control again a lot of these i'm just going to leave as default but the interesting one that you might um, 
want to take note of is this section here where it says list rules. So this is where you'd actually specify which products you want to include in your product table. Um, and here you can just click add new rule. And then here we've got a few selections you can choose from. So you can um, list all products from a particular categories. So I selected categories, the conditions in, and then here we can select the particular category that we want to use. So you can create the various conditional rules as well. So you can create a rule that says it needs to be in categories hoodies and then we can add another rule and then we can specify this to and as well if we want let's say tags so, so let's say for example we want to say the particular product is in the hoodies categories and the tag has to be i'm not sure if i've got any tags on this site but let's say for example if there's a tag called test so then we can specify this rule to and and then um, the, the condition basically has to match it being in the categories hoodies and have a particular tag so you can create powerful conditional rules, but again, I'm just going to keep it simple for now. So now I'm just displaying all my products in the hoodies category. Again, you can specify individual products as well if you want, but I'm going to leave it as it is for now. Um, product filters. So you've got an option as well to enable um, product filtering so your customers can quickly find what it is they're looking for. Again, I'm going to leave this for now. You've also got an option as well to hide products without a featured image. Again, skip over these. I'm going to skip over these. A lot of these are self-explanatory. Um, let's go down to form design. So by default, you will have the standard product table form. Here I've disabled the form heading as well. So if we go, if we go here, um, let's let's actually enable. Well, let's disable this option, and then I'll show you what it looks like. So let's hit save changes, and then let's go to our page here. And then let's refresh this. And then here you can see it's showing um, the product table heading, right? So then let's head back to our settings page or the form design. And then let's go ahead and disable the form heading again. The design I've set it to default and I've enabled custom CSS and I've just added a few custom style into our product table. So in future versions, you'll most likely have a list of predefined templates to choose from, which will make it super easy for create any custom um, layout as well. So again, I'm gonna leave everything as it is. Let's hit save changes, and then we'll just hit this arrow icon once it's saved back to our main page here. So here is our product table in which we just worked on. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this short code, and you would basically add it to any page you want to add it to and you can add multiple um, product tables to a page as well so let's say for example if you remember correctly we set this product table to only show products in the hoodies categories so if you wanted you could say um, hoodies right so you could give it a heading where it says hoodies and then we can have one which might say um, hats right and then we'd basically just repeat the steps. So if you didn't want to start from scratch, you can just hit duplicate and this will duplicate this particular product table. And then for the categories, okay, so let's just go through the steps. So this is our duplicated product table, right? Then we'll just hit edit and it will have all the settings that we've already configured on our last product table. So it will save you a lot of time. And then all we'll have to do is go to form or the form control and then here currently it's showing products in the hoodies categories. So we can just X this off and then we can say accessories, right? So this can be our accessories category. Then we'll just save changes and then let's head back and then we can copy this product table here and we can, so currently it's creating a new category as hats. Now we can just set it to accessories. Okay, let's just bold this and then we will just paste our short code here and then let's hit update and let's hit view pages. So currently this is our hoodies um, product table. So here we're displaying all the different products in our hoodies category. And then here we're showing all the products in our accessories categories. And you can add multiple different products to a single page by using this method. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in a comment section below or contact us at woosweet.com. I will get back to you as soon as possible.